Welcome back for part two. The first thing you want to do is pick up one of these power adapters. The links are in the bio or the description. You can find them here. You're going to need this to get your ring doorbell powered all the time. Now let's go ahead and let me show you how to get this thing done. First, remove the safety screw from the bottom of your ring doorbell, then remove the cover plate. Then there are four screws that are holding it to the wall. Take your time and remove these screws. Don't lose them, they're pretty small. Once you flip your ring doorbell over, you'll see two little screws on the back. That's where we're going to connect our wire. But first, we got to drill a hole through our wall into our house. Make sure there's nothing behind your wall. Once I'm inside, you got to plan how you're going to run your wire. In this case, I'm going behind the baseboard. So I got to score it nice and easy so that I can use a baseboard removal tool to pull all the baseboard up. Take your time, this is easy. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the faceplate to our outlet. What we want to do is put two small holes, one beside the outlet and one directly below behind the baseboard. Once this is done, we're going to snake our wires all the way through and we're going to run it on the floor behind our baseboard all the way till it's in line with the hole that we drilled from the outside. Once again, we just continue fishing our wire from the hole all the way to the hole that we drilled from the outside. Once this is done, we can push our wire through to the outside. Before I continued, I went ahead and put the cover plate back on and plugged in my power adapter and then went ahead and secured our baseboard and put it all nice and neat so my wife wouldn't complain. Now it's time to wrap this thing up. All we need to do is strip the wires and get them ready. Once they're stripped, all you need to do is connect them to the back of the ring doorbell to the terminals that I showed you and you're done. All we need to do now is just install it to the bracket by replacing the four screws. Hopefully you didn't lose them. Once you got all the screws in, all you need to do now is insert the battery, put the cover plate back on, and you're done. And just like that, you install your ring doorbell and it's fully powered. Have it wired all the time. Don't worry about ever changing your batteries again. Don't forget to follow and like for more DIY tips and tricks like this and more other stuff around the house.